who adds the least value to their content on YouTube that you can think of off the top of your head? I guess if I was going to say off the top of my head, Sniper Wolf. We are talking about Sniper Wolf. So, you know, you get a, a point right off the rip. Yes. We're talking about Sniper Wolf and her estranged husband for this episode. Sausage. Sausage, right. Pickle, do you mind telling me the interesting way that they became acquainted? Sausage found her channel and he had his own YouTube channel and he sent her a, a message that said, I would drag my balls through a field of broken glass just to hear you fart through a walkie talkie. And I guess that was enough for her to, to giggle and give him a chance to, to get the in. Ladies, if you're watching, would that get you to respond back to a man? Or was that a little audacious? Also, guys, are you willing to do such feats to, to get to a woman? Let us know down in those comments. I mean, would you? No. <laughs> On pickup lines, that is definitely not in the top area for me. Obviously, they split, right? If you guys don't know, Sniper Wolf and her man Sausage is what we'll call him. That's his YouTube persona. Split. And there seems to be some discrepancies as far as pay goes and what people think they're owed on both sides. Just like with any breakup or divorce, there's going to be some contention on who's owed what and who, how you divvy up the property, money, things like that. And clearly there's some contention. There's some lawsuits involved from each party. But before we dive too deep into that, we, we probably need to start where the channel started, how it got started, how, you know, we've already talked about how they met, but what happened after that point? So they're both YouTubers and I believe Sniper Wolf started as a gaming channel of sorts where he's alleging that he was doing the, the screenwriting for it, which, eh. and then he was also playing the games for it, which I believe. And there's videos where she's been exposed for not having actual control of the character that she's playing in certain video games as well. Her contention within her lawsuit, and it's, it's kind of worth noting that in each lawsuit, they are claiming the LLC that they started together. So when each YouTube channel that they owned originally, when they met and got together, they came together to create the Sniper Wolf channel. Mm -hmm. Like they each had their own separate and then they came in and make the one. And they had an agreement. Like you said, he's going to do the, the scripting or the writing titles, everything like that. And she's the face of it. She's the, the more attractive one and she's the one that's going to be on screen all the time. Mm -hmm. And so each party is saying, I had this much contributed, I had this much contributed. Where the, the contention is happening is how that money was divvied up and how each party is saying, you did this or you didn't do this. And it, it's getting really complicated, to say the least. The LLC is 50-50, right? However, the money side of things was a verbal contractual agreement. Am I mistaken in that? or There is a verbal contract, but the LLC was filed under both of their names. So mm -hmm. they do both own, I believe it's called Red Channel, mm -hmm. is the overarching LLC that owns Sniper Wolf and I guess his channel too. And they were pulling it all into one bank account but at a certain point after the breakup, he's alleging that she started making deals outside of the channel because something happened where they got demonetized, right? And she started, I think, opening alternate language channels and then reusing Sniper Wolf footage mm -hmm. to supply those channels with content without his input and collecting money and revenue off of that, which he wasn't seeing. I clearly. can see where, where it gets a little murky there because... It would be different if she was using original content that they hadn't worked on together and she was going ahead and getting these alternate language channels and things like that kind of built up and all that. But it is a little murky because he's or she is using the OG content that yeah. they supposedly worked together on. Yeah, and if he did contribute 50% to that original content and it's just being rehashed out into other channels and he's not seeing any revenue of it, that is a breach of their original contract. Okay, so what is he getting after in this lawsuit? What, what, what is his goal as far as punitive damage or whatever have you? What is he trying to, to get back? As far as I can tell, he just wants half of the money that's being made and he wants to be included in business deals. He doesn't want to be left out. I think he feels that this divorce has led basically to him being shuttered, like shuttered out of his business. And I think there was a hard drive stolen, which was his main concern. That hard drive had sensitive data on it. And without that sensitive data, he has no knowledge as to what's going on. So he, I think he's what he's after is information and just fulfillment of a contract. What she's trying to do is have the, the, the lawsuit dismissed, right? And her contention is that any of her actions that he's claiming that have damaged the company have not in fact damaged the Red Channel LLC. 
And they actually had a pre-existing agreement, what they called the ceasefire agreement, which when they separated in order to protect the viability of the channel, they set it up so that neither of them would partake in any action that will damage the channel in any way. Now, there's some stuff that happened we'll get to in another video, but her claim is that she didn't do anything to damage the channel, right? And any claims that he's making, therefore, should be handled in the family court that set up the ceasefire. It shouldn't be dealt with lawsuit wise. On top of that, she's countersuing, saying that she was ignorant to the understandings of the business nature of the agreement when he set up the LLC. And that Sniper Wolf ignorant? Sniper Wolf ignorant. It's hard to believe. Yeah. <laughs> that she was ignorant to the dealings of the business world, I guess, or the, the 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 structure of the contract that they had signed. And she's just trying to get it settled in family court. I see both sides of the argument. What do you think? Do you think it should be settled in family court or do you think a lawsuit's necessary because she seems to be taking steps to further business while this is going on i see it in a really weird light where i think that both parties are charged i think is the best point to put it where everybody's at 100 percent rage 100 percent anger and while i do tend to side more with young i do think that without sniper wolf the channel wouldn't have been as successful and so at the end of the day i think they did have about a 50 50 partnership and there's really no way to like adjust those metrics or figure out what it is and so 50 50 is the best number to settle on and so if there were funds diverted on Sniper Wolf's side, then he's entitled to those funds, or at least half of them, right? Mm -hmm. But there's other things like the cost of production, cameras, on-set location, you know, paying for certain things. And if he hasn't been paying some of that, like she's alleging, then yeah, half, like part of the money that would have been his half needs to come out to pay for that. Like they need to get everything back to 50-50. But I think they need to kind of separate their emotions from all of it because at the end of the day, they just both stand to lose money. They have something good. Like, I don't necessarily like Sniper Wolf content or sausage content. I don't like it that much. But her channel is one of the most popping on YouTube. It I has, mean, you got to give it to her. I think it's 35 million subs or yeah. something along those lines. So and, she's, she's top tier. And then YouTube... I'm not currently, but they used to push her heavily. If like she would be one of those people, for instance, that if you went to the home page on YouTube and you had never watched a video prior, right? You'd see her, Mr. Beast. You know, you, you'd see the the staples of YouTube. I guess I'll call it like the main people that push YouTube or that YouTube pushes. I do think though that she is basically if you took like a masterpiece, like the like a Picasso, and then you just added like a block to it. And you're like, I made this. That's the type of content that she makes. She takes other people's original content, barely adds any addition to it, and then reposts it. So Sniper Wolf, not being the smartest, is kind of giving some credence to Sausage's argument. She wants him to continue to work for the channel, continue producing thumbnails, titles, et cetera, et cetera. And she also would like money back from Sausage for legal fees and damage to Channel Red. Yeah, she's also alleging that the reason that the lawsuit should be thrown out from his end is that he isn't as big a contributor to the channel as he claims to be. Yet, but this ad is, adds credence to it. Yeah, because right the reward there. that she wants out of this is for him to continue to do the things that he supposedly doesn't do. Like she needs him. Kind of shot herself in the foot. And that does lead credence that maybe she didn't understand the business deal very well, but she doesn't seem to understand anything very well. Well, with that being said, We'll kind of just have to see how this plays out. Probably end up doing a follow-up video, see how things are going. Let us know down in the comments below. Do you think Sausage is right? Do you think Sniper Wolf is right? Do you think that he contributed 50%? Do you think the channel wouldn't be Sniper Wolf without Sniper Wolf? Could he have done this on his own? Let us know all that down in the comments below. And with that being said, I'm Rugbird. And I'm Pickled Landon. And this is Tombstone Tourist. Tourist.